open up. You open up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Melissa. I do DIY lifestyle and decor videos. And today I'm going to be doing a makeover on a piece of furniture that I got on Facebook Facebook Marketplace. And I actually didn't have to pay anything for this item. I got it for free. I just had to pick it up. Um, the man that was selling it was cleaning out an old barn and just wanted to get rid of it. It was in their family for a long time. So I was happy to have gotten my hands on it, but it's a great piece. Um, I'm going to try to use it as a coffee bar. It actually has two pieces. There's the actual furniture piece like dresser and then there's also a piece that goes on top which is um, a mirror and so what I'm thinking is I'm going to paint the mirror with chalk paint which I've never done before it'll be my first time using the chalk paint um, paint so um, also there's hardware on the piece of furniture that I needed to replace so I actually put in an order on Amazon for four pieces of hardware and they're super cute I love the way that they look and they complement complement the piece really well um, and they were super inexpensive so I'll make sure to link the hardware down below in the description box all right you guys so here is the piece of furniture and um, as you can see there's a lot of pieces that have kind of broken off of it um, like this little section here and so I'm really not worried about that I'm actually gonna bust this piece out because it's already loose and I'm actually thinking I'm going to put like a decorative um, poultry wire inside just to kind of give it more of a farmhouse feel. And then these are actually little like key slots. I considered putting in some hardware there, um, which I might still do, but for now, because there's metal here, um, I might just leave it. So we'll see what I come up with for that, but that's what it looks like right now. And then as for the hardware, I wish there would have been two more on that side. Unfortunately, there was only these two pieces here. So I'm gonna have to toss these or maybe just keep them for another project. But um, I ended up getting these ones on Amazon. So these are the pieces I'm gonna be replacing them with. I feel like it'll look really nice because this piece will be white from the top. I'm going to try to do about from here, sorry, from here and down white. And then this top portion I'm going to just kind of clean up and possibly restain into a darker wood. Okay, so these are the paints and stains that I'll be using today. I'm going to be doing this uh, Verathane wood stain in dark walnut. I always use this one. I love this stain, but I think specifically for this piece, I need just a little bit of a lighter one mixed in with it, which would be this Carrington color. So I'm gonna mix the two and stain the top portion. And then I'm also going to use this Rust-Oleum Chalked in Linen White. So this is what I'll be using for pretty much the piece from top to bottom. The top wood piece will be these two stains. And then also the second piece um, that attaches to the top will be in this Linen White color as well. So the only thing that's kind of staying a wood tone is going to be the top. And I just wanted to show you guys, this is, um, just a little two inch paintbrush that I always grab from Home Depot. It's so easy to use. It's like $5.99 and it's, um, this, this paintbrush specifically can be used with all paints. So that's why I always pick that one up. And then um, I think that's it so far. I'm gonna probably just kind of rough the top portion up, uh, wipe down this piece of furniture here. I always end up using uh, TSP which is this product here so I'm gonna use the TSP get everything prepped and ready and then I'll move on to the paint and the staining and then once I have that completed I'll be able to decide um, if I want to do the chalk paint on the mirror or not and also I need to 
knock out these pieces here and add the chicken or poultry wire. So there's a couple things I need to do additionally, but I can't wait for you guys to see how this piece turns out. I'm really excited myself and can't wait to put this into my kitchen. All right, we'll get started. impression you open we should be closer to friends if you open engaging is on my agenda request my chariot get ya the doors open take the hot road and hop in first impression you open we should be closer to friends if you open engaging is on my agenda Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open. Take that hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up a smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a puck ball. Open up. Tell you how far, puck ball. Let your emotions walk, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Need to deep breathe hard and complications. Open up. You open up. Hit you won't be me and We should be closer than friends. If you open up, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open up, take that hot road and hop in. You open up, hit you won't be me and We should be closer than friends. If you open up, and take that hot road and hop in. Open up. Open up, open up, open up, open up, cold as ice and cold love, open up. Okay, you guys, so I haven't started painting yet this top portion of the item, um, but this is the four, first coat. So as you can see, it's probably going to need two to three coats, but I've just painted basically from that top portion down all the way, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my second coat on as well as once I've done that, start painting this piece here as well. So I will show you guys once I've gotten that second coat of paint on. Okay, you guys, so I just did this second coat of paint. I just have to say, I am absolutely loving the way this is turning out. I just can't believe that I got this piece of furniture for free. Um, I think it's gonna just look fantastic when it's all said and done. But um, just as you can see, I am I am for sure gonna stain the top. Um, from far away, it looks fine, but just as you get closer, the tone of the wood would just look a lot nicer, um, a little couple shades darker. So definitely going to do that still. I did pick up my chicken wire today um, or poultry netting. So this is what it looks like. So that's what's gonna go inside at the bottom. And then I've also put on the first coat of the paint on this one. So I will say right away, like you can see the paintbrush strokes. It This was so hard to paint. Um, there's a lot of little nicks and crannies and detailing. 
um, especially on this piece here. So that is going to definitely take me a lot longer to kind of um, make sure it looks really aesthetically pleasing. But I'm thinking I'm pretty happy with the second coat. I might just do a third coat in some areas that really need it, like the side here. Um, so I might do a third coat in the inner part and then on the tops of these drawers here. So I think that's where I'll end up doing the extra coat and also moving on to this piece here. So I will show you guys once I have all of the paint done and then we can move on to the staining of the top. Okay, you guys, so here is the second coat. It's looking really good. I think it's pretty much done. Although there's a couple areas like this one right here for some reason, my paint is just sliding. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do about that. Um, I'm just going to have to let it dry a little bit more. There's little sections over here too. So there's a couple areas that need some touch up, but for the most part, it's looking pretty good. And then I have applied all the paint to this piece that I need to. So I'm feeling pretty good about moving on to the staining and then just kind of going back to this piece and touching up anything that I need to. And then I will be able to attach the poultry wire to the bottom and the hardware to the drawers. And then the last thing is the chalk paint. And I'm not too sure yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the chalk paint or not. Um, I might wait and just post this video and show you guys the finished product with the mirror and then you guys let me know in the comments if you guys think I should do the chalk paint or not. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys and you fill me in with your ideas. All right, so that is the hardware attached, and this is the way the stain turned out on the top. I absolutely love it. I really love the linen white paint. It's outstanding, and for this piece especially, it's so farmhouse. And I think I am going to distress this just a little bit. Um, I might get it in the house first and then kind of work on it. Um, but I love the little knobs and I love the stain and I love the color. And then the last thing I have to do is just add that poultry wire into the back of these little cabinets and this project is complete. Hey guys, so I've completed one side of the chicken wire and um, I must say this was quite the task. Um, the staple gun that I'm using, luckily my neighbor had one that I, that 
lended this to me. That was so kind of them. Um, it's a power shot one and it's a front um, push. So the thing is, is they didn't go in deep enough. So they would go in just a little bit and then I would have to hammer it in the rest of the way. Um, and then once I did that, then I just cut off all the ends just to kind of clean it up. I mean, it worked for the most part, but it just took a lot longer. Um, and now this side is complete. And then, um, I don't know if you noticed or if you can see from the back there, but I also added in baskets. I had these left over from one of my um, previous pieces of furniture that I had in my uh, family room. And so I have two of this kind of lighter green gray tone and two of this darker kind of navy gray. Um, so I put the lighter one at the top and the darker one at the bottom as well as on this side here. So I have one on each. So I've also attached the hardware on these. I had to get uh, different screws as well as washers for it to work, but it did and now they work well and they look fabulous. And the next thing I'm gonna start on is finishing this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you um, the way I did it on the other one. I wanted to make sure to line this little line up to make it match on the other side. So I'm gonna do that. I just have to shut it. down I'm then going to go ahead and finish going all the way around and then trimming the edges I'm gonna go ahead and pull the camera up closer for you guys just so you can get um, a closer look and see what I mean also on the other side okay so as you can see I've gone ahead and just done stapled those four top and bottom and then I'm going to show you guys inside what it looks like so as you can see, it's not perfect by any means, but I did get the job done. <laughs> and then um, I think there's just a couple little areas in here that I just need to kind of trim up just a tad bit more. Um, and also I'm going to be touching up some paint in here as well. So that is the finished product on that side for the most part. And now I just need to finish off this side and this project will be complete and I can go ahead and move it into the kitchen. Minor butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up the smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's close enough. Come to visit me. She said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like football. Open up. Tell you how far, far, far. Let your emotions walk, fall on me. Open up. You OPN. Hit you on BBM. We should be closer than friends. If you OPN. Engagings on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors open, take the high road and hop in. Open up, open up. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below if you did, as well as subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when I post new videos. I hope you guys have a beautiful day.